Hello and welcome back to part 54 of the Dungeon of Halbach. I'm your host, Mefu. So before we carry on and see what the anvil is all about, and if it is as magical as they say, and if we can destroy the amulet on it, let's have a quick look at the skill trees. So over here, everyone's leveled up as you can see. On the dwarf, I'm going to go into... The dwarf gains 20 max stamina. I feel like I'm running out of stamina quite a lot. So I'm going to test it out, see if it's worth incorporating. And if it is, I'm actually going to move this point out of here into there. And then take the strength and maybe possibly take the parry. But I'm going to see what happens. So over to active skills. Um, I've got an upgrade here. I haven't taken any of these other ones because uh, this one's really crap. And this one's so situational. I just don't think I'll get to use it. Might try it uh, later. But over here, uh, the Yakax charge. I can do 150% damage or I can take uh, CC in a cone in front of me. Which is kind of like the gas. Um, but I think it does more damage than the gas does. It's got a low cooldown as well. So I'm just going to take that. Because I really like CC and the dwarf doesn't do that much damage anyway, so it doesn't really matter if he's uh, lacking a bit of damage. So, over on here, um, he's got 50, uh, 50 precision. He's got 80 precision, which is nice. Uh, I feel like his constitution's good because he's got enough stamina to, um, well, I just said he's running out of stamina, but he's got enough stamina to regen anyway. Uh, so I think I'm just going to pump strength, give him more damage, give him more physical resistance. It's almost up to magical resistance now. So that's the dwarf. Over to the elf. Have a quick look. I think I'm literally. I, I quite like the elf is immune to burning because burning does quite a lot of damage. Poison does a lot of damage as well, but poison does it kind of relevant. Uh, it's more relevant to their HP, and the elf doesn't have that much HP, whereas uh, burning's flat. So it'd be actually fairly decent to have immunity, even though it is kind of fluffy, a bit like. Hmm, I don't know. But I'm tempted to take the dodge because this gives me five more dodge, which make her dodge really high then. I think I'm going to take the dodge, and after the dodge, I'll probably take the burning. I don't like the charisma. All it does is um, get some more support, but she doesn't really need it because her precision is so good anyway. Because you can see the charisma stat, and that's what you gain from attacking. A supported uh, character will receive 5% uh, or 2% to their precision per charisma. It also increases their healing, as you can see. Raises the elf's healing power. I don't think I really need that, though, personally. Um, I feel like her healing is pretty good already. So over on the active skills, um, I'm tempted to take... This one is pretty good because it gives a stun and it does 200 damage. But I feel like I've got a lot of CC already. A lot of the mobs, um, yeah. I know it's weird. I, I think I have enough CC. So I'm tempted to take the 300% damage on the shot, but it also increases the penalty by uh, minus 10. Uh, but the one I'm actually really leaning towards is the cone attack on the unlikely strike. It's this nice AoE damage. Again, and it's uh, quite a high opportunity to kill something and damage something else at the same time. So I'm going to take that. So I try to incorporate that quite a lot into my uh, fighting style. Right, uh, over to here. The precision is about 76, plus she gets uh, enough from the bows. So she gets about 10 from the bow. So that's about 86, technically. So I could actually probably take points out of agility and bring that down to about 70 if I wanted to. And pump her damage more. I've noticed she's starting to run out of uh, stamina, actually. Uh, I went out of stamina in that last fight I did. So I'm actually going to put that to the magical number 15. Gives a bit more survivability as well, a bit more uh, health. And then I'm just going to put it into damage again and confirm that. So I'm going to try that out. Then on to the Thief. So the Thief, I'm gonna actually going to go into the 0 0.25 critical damage multiplier. He's getting quite a lot of critical hit. I mean, it says here it's 0. But if I go over to... Oops. Um, do you want to save the changes before leaving? Yes, I do. If I go over to here and show you his real crit, it's actually 8%. Uh, which is fairly high, and then when he's alone, he gets 10%, so he's got 18% crit. So I'm actually going to start putting these in as multipliers, see if that actually makes him even stronger. Well, he's not that strong, but he's still pretty strong in some ways. So then over here, I was tempted to take the poison powder, uh, yeah, the blinding powder, just so it stacks better with his uh, status effects here. So I can actually debuff them, then run in and do damage rather than throw caltrops. Um, so I'm tempted to take that, and also I'm quite tempted to take the, um, where is it? The one that reduces the penalty to only minus 5, but only gives, um, 3 attacks. So, I'm not quite sure what to take out those two. Because this will actually make this quite strong, so you wouldn't have such a bad penalty. It'd be like minus 15 instead of minus 30 on the attacks. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the poison. And then take this afterwards. Yeah, I'm going to go for the poison. Just so I can get this going off. I feel like it's probably a mistake. I should probably be taking that. But, uh, yeah. So, over here. 
Uh, his precision is really high already. Uh, his, his stamina is nice. It's 15, so I don't need to put any more on Constitution. So I'm just going to pump Strength. So that's it for the Thief. Then over to the Wizardess. I had a choice between taking the, the Snake. The Snake is uh, guaranteed to hit, which is really strong. It scares them as well and does 200% damage, which is massive single target damage. But, there's always a but. These birds aren't that great. Uh, they're not actually worth upgrading. I feel like it's actually really decent by itself, kind of like the Fireball. It's just decent by itself. It doesn't really need the upgrades. And over here, I can even have a massive, massive um, AoE, which is quite decent. But I think 120% more, 120% uh, damage, or 40% damage upgrade. It'll make it stronger than Wazad then, because at the moment it does 50%. This does 70. So that'll literally give it, yeah, about, not 50% not upgrade, it'll give it 70% more damage. So I'm going to take that. 120% damage on an AoE spell, which has a massive range and a chance of freezing. It's just really strong. Uh, over on passive skills, not much to take here, apart from the Wizardess gains 2 intelligence, which increases her damage even more, which is nice, very strong. And then on top of that, I will even upgrade the intelligence even more. So she's just got insane damage. I can see her impact's insane. I think that's almost maxed out. I think it might be maxed out. But I'll confirm that. Over to the Ogre. So on the Ogre, I'll start with the passive skills as usual. I think I'm just going to take the uh, three more strength. This gives them more damage. It just works really nice in the Ogre. Then over here... I've got a choice between doing a cone attack that hits everyone for 80% or knocking them over. I said I had enough CC, but this is actually really strong still. It's, uh, it's I think like, at these two, this kind of pattern here doesn't happen that often in combat. Not as often as I would like anyway to take that. So I'm actually going to take the CC. Uh, the gas isn't really worth it upgrading, I don't feel, at this moment in time. But I might, in my last point, because I've got one more level left. I might just take the poison gas so it works with the thief better with his status effects. So I can have more poison going out and he'd be doing more, like 6% more damage. Right, and over on the points, his precision is 72, so I'm actually going to put that up again. So he's at 79 now. And I think on the last level, I'll put one more point in there and the rest into strength. He's got a nice stamina of 15, so that's all good. Confirm that. The priestess, um, the passive skills, I'm literally just going to put in uh, charisma. Everything else is really crap anyway. So, Charisma gives her damage, as you can see, once again, damage and precision. So, I'll take that. Then, over on active skills, I'm just going to increase the... Um, I don't want to take this massive one, because it's going to heal my enemies quite a lot. I don't feel like she needs the extra range, either. So, I'm just going to upgrade this to uh, just 30 more healing. It's just quite strong, and it stacks her Charisma, so it's probably more than 30. Um, it's more than 80, obviously. I think it's probably over 120 now, healing on that group heal. Then over here, I'm just going to put in all into uh, Charisma again. Increases her healing, increases her precision, and increases her uh, damage again. So it's just a really no-brainer stat for her. Then I purposely missed out the Barbarian because I've respected him from scratch for one reason and one reason only. I'll get to that in a second. So over here on the passive skills, uh, take the armor. Then put one point in Yarg. Then take... Uh, oh, I'm actually quite tempted to even ignore that one. And take the 60, 120, 180 over... No, it's only 20% damage difference. And this just gives protection. So, I mean, minus protection for the rest of the team. So I'm still going to take the minus protection one. Then put one point in Steel Barrage. Because it, uh, it makes that really strong. And it's just... I can use that all the time because the cone is very useful. Then over here... Um, take the 10% precision when attacking with a sword. Then the, the weakness one. And then he gets more damage, five more damage when he's below 50% HP. Uh, the stun's not very useful, as I've said in previous videos. So I'll take the 1% critical uh, chance. Don't think there's anything else here that's actually decent. Yeah, 1% crit chance. And then over here in the actives, I'll take Savage Warcry. And instead of taking the 10% damage, because I'm getting late game now, a lot of the characters have like almost 10% crit. I'm actually going to take the crit aura because it, I think it scales better with gear. This was scaling better at the beginning when I needed to just hit. This is scaling better now that I can probably crit most attacks, or at least 20% of the time. So I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to take the leap again, obviously. I did really like these two skills, so I'm going to keep Kron's Brawn, and eventually get the one that gives it a cone attack, as you can see, the cone attack here. And so I might be able to uh, make some plays using that. And then over here, I need to go back to passives again. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm actually going to take Strength. I'm going to take uh, Agility 
over the crit because I feel like even though I said I'm getting 1% crit there, I'm actually gaining crit there. So I'm actually going to just take these so I can pump more damage out and then go into, where is it? More strength. So I'm going to do it like that for now and then probably put the other point into agility or here. So that gives me room to give him more damage instead of agility and I also need to get his constitution up again. So over here, I need to bring his constitution to about 15. So he's got 15 uh, stamina per turn. Then that gives him more HP as well. Uh, over here, I need to bring this up to about there, 80. Then he gets 10 with the sword, so he got 90 uh, precision when he's attacking. I could probably actually bring that lower, to be fair. I might actually try bring that lower and see how that works out. So I might bring that to the 70, and then he's got 80 with the sword. So that saves me, um, yeah. Saves me putting points into there. So I'm going to pump that all the way up, give more damage and physical resistance. <clears throat> then the last point, i got a choice between more CC. The dwarf kind of does that when he gets thrown in. i got a choice between 150% uh, damage, increases the damage of 50, or protection. Protection kind of sucks anyway, so I'm not actually keen on that. I could even take this one to get the cone ready, but I feel like I'll just take the cone later because the leap skill is really strong. So, I can either go for the stun or this. I'm going to go for the damage, surprisingly. Because I feel like i got enough CC now. And, yeah, 150% damage on that leap is really strong. So I'm going to take that, confirm those changes. If I change my mind, I respect. i got so much gold. As you can see, i got like, yeah, 39k. And i got tons of these respect potions. So I can respect any time I want. And it's good to just test things out since I'm uh, towards the end of the game now. And just to show you quickly. So he's got 4% crit chance. With that shout, he's got 14%. Then we go to the ranger. He's got 15%. With the uh, barbarian shout I just got. The dwarf's got 17%. The elf's got 18%. The thief's got 18%. Plus his passives. I wasn't even including these passives as well for these guys. Plus his passives. That means he's got 28% with the shout. <clears throat> Probably even more actually. I think I'm missing one of the critical multipliers. Uh, yeah, and then to the Wizardess, she gets 30% crit, and she's probably the, the biggest damage deal on the team now. I mean, look at that impact stat. So she gets 30% crit with the Barbarian Shout instead of 20. And then the Ogre gets 15%, which is massive for him again, because he hits like a truck. And then she gets 15, but she doesn't really do any damage anyway. But yeah, as you can see, that's why I've changed the Shout on the Barbarian, and that's why I've changed it to the 10% critical hit chance. So yeah, that's it for the skill trees for now. I might even respect on the next episode. You never know. It's always changing. I always want to experiment, try different things. I don't want to just uh, stick to uh, the same thing all the time. It gets a bit boring. And it's nice to see what other options are out there. Right, open the door and continue the main story. This is the temple of the big anvil. By the gods, this place is the stuff of legends. They say it's filled to the brim with incredible treasures the Chaos Dwarves got through plunder. They also say the tormented souls of the Chaos Dwarves kings gather here after their death to guard this place. These Chaos Dwarf kings, do they live long? Stop right there, intruders from the top side. Oh. Heavens! Thunderation? What the hell is this monster now? I'm the Warden of Runes, and I'm the Keeper of the Sacred Sanctuary. It's an elder spirit of our ancestors. Probably an ancient dwarf blacksmith with terrible powers. Nah, just your typical pickaxe sharpener who wound up here because of a stupid bet. <laughs> Shit happens? Yeah, I know. It's damn. I can't make friends with the intruders. You've been warned. Don't tread <laughs> further or you'll meet dire consequences. Oh, that's aggressive. So fortunately I missed out on what they were saying at the start. Oh, I feel like this this is really dark this map. Oh, another one of those pillars. Hmm. They're very dark. I feel like I'm gonna get hit by traps. I mean I'm in a dwarf place, there must be traps. There's a lever there. I'll come back to that. Oh wait, the way I need to go is that way. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around and try and search this place first. I'm after loot and XP. I need to look up for traps. I only just healed. So I'd rather not be hit by traps. Right, what's this way? Oh, that's blocked off by the lever. Uh, the gate. The lever's behind it. Is this a dead end? Okay, that's a dead end. <laughs> and over here.
What on earth just happened? It's minding my own business and now I'm being attacked by oh, I hate fighting spiders. They're quite low level though. Ish. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's do the normal formation, I guess. Ranger here. Thingy here. That there. Feet from the side here. They should be swapped around. The dwarf can probably go in the front, actually. Oh, wait a second. Can the ranger even hit those at the back there? I don't think he can. I think he's missing the dwarf there as well. Damn it. Um, this is what I'll do instead. And then I'll move them around afterwards. Okay, ranger's turn. I probably don't even need it against these guys because uh, they run so far anyway. But I'm going to do it anyway. Just so it's on. Gives precision. It's nice. So everyone's got around 80 precision, so it brings it up to, um... Um... 95. <laughs> I couldn't think then. I'll face him out that way. He's still in range of the Barbarian stuff. For once. Big buff. I need to stay within two tiles, unfortunately. Otherwise I would have moved there already. Uh, delayed turn on the... Ogre. Barbarian's turn, so I'm going to test out the new crit shout. 10% crit and precision. I thought it was going to fail then. I was just like, oh, don't do this to me. So all the buffs have gone off. I can actually move them out a bit now. So I'm going to move the... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Beware, they're venomous. Yeah, I'm actually going to move him out here. So he doesn't get webbed in. Um, delay that turn. Sweet. Oh, there's more. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that didn't hurt. Magically resisted. They hit for 71. That's pretty high, actually. I wasn't expecting them to hit so hard because they're quite low level compared to me. I'm level 9. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go for the Firebirds to begin with, because uh, I kind of want a bigger um, CC, I think. So, Firebirds. Firebird. There we go, crit. So, as you can oh, see, because <laughs> of that crit, they're all almost dead already. Which is uh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. I'll move her back one. Okay, that's a nice AoE if they actually survive that long. I don't think they will, though. Here comes the poison, as usual. They're going to take ages to get in. i still got, like, one more turn of running before they can do anything. Three's turn. I've got the poison. I don't think poison actually works on spiders. I'm going to throw it anyway. I think they're immune to it. Oh, I was completely wrong and they all got poison. Okay. <laughs> just the usual just the usual move them here to block the gap <laughs> this guy's like am I late to the party sorry guys I got caught up in traffic I'm coming now though <laughs> um maybe not okay there he is delayed turns Web. Ha! Don't even think I have the physical buff off yet, actually. So that's surprising. Ooh, no barrels here. This looks like a nice opportunity to, uh... Ooh, wait, I can even do this. She can dodge the first blow. Yeah, I think that's actually decent. It's probably better than the ricochet, actually. It's a bit like the barbarian now. Aha! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I didn't get my other attack. Okay. I'm <laughs> really disappointed. <laughs> After all that, I didn't even do it. Okay, so where's this dwarf? 
Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, she's kind of blocking that as well. I throw the dwarf in. Yeah, these spiders didn't really stand a chance. They're pretty much dead on my first turn. And all they've done is uh, put poison on and hit the barbarian once, I think. These guys are coming from there, so I'm going to use the ogre to block this off. Okay, Dwarf can either do a knockdown, which is probably not much point. I could even probably change this to the 120% damage one, because it's guaranteed to hit, instead of the stun, because now I've got this. It might seem a bit redundant to have both, but I'll see. I'll see how it works out in other fights. Um, is that dead to Ricochet? What's that dead to? Dead to the Thief, probably? No, it's not. Okay, I'm just going to leave him uh, there, stop him from Ew, moving. I hate spiders. Okay, Ranger's turn. I think I can put my buff on now. Okay, I can see the buffs. What I have on. I hold on the last four. Okay, so that's three more turns of that one. Hmm, the uh, Priestess buff doesn't last that long, actually. Right, there we go. Have a face this way. Priestess's turn. Uh, I could actually heal the Barbarian already, which I might do. When's that? Yeah, I'm going to do it with my hand as well. To save my range heals. My big range heals. There we go. Have a hand, my friend. Have a hand. Ogre's turn. Damn poison. Uh, I'll probably just go for a normal hit, because this is literally on death's door. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait for the other spiders to come to me. No point chasing them when they have to move anyway to kill me. Okay, right, Barbarian's turn. This will probably be overkill. And look how much damage it does to the elf. <laughs> I was going to go for this one. There's another crit. There's another crit. Okay, so they're coming from there. I'll put the Barbarian over here. Probably just there. So he doesn't get webbed up. If they decide to web this. Okay, Dwarf's turn. This guy's really low. Dwarf should have that. Oh, here's the music again. Another crit. Oh, everyone's critting. What's going on? Not that I'm complaining, but it's just, I'm not used to seeing so many crits. <laughs> it's overwhelming me. I'm overwhelmed. Big sprint there. Okay, Wizardess's turn. Albino Arenas. I think I said that completely wrong. Um, yeah, there's not much for me to do. I think that's the only spiders that are left. So I can go for a killer bunny. Or I can test out the Hailstorm. Um... I haven't done the fireball yet, 53%. Okay, I'm not going to do the fireball. So let's test out my new hailstorm. See what the damage is like. See if it crits. 89 didn't crit, but it froze. Over there. Oh, wait, there's more spiders. There's another one there. Oh, so he's got reinforcements coming. Oh, maybe I should have saved that. Oh, that's right. I'm not actually worried to dying to them. Worried about dying to them. <laughs> I think it's completely blocked off from everyone. As per usual. Um, no, I'm actually just out of range of that one. So I'll move the thief. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, double check this. Yeah, we'll just move the thief back here. Spiders are slippery creatures. So. Yeah, I'll probably just poison that as well. Did they get poisoned? I didn't see. Oh, more spiders coming. Okay. Bring it on. I've got some new abilities to test out. Send it all at me. Send it all at me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. My turn. Right. That guy's looking juicy. So is that guy. I could probably kill that straight away with the elf. Or I can leap for the melee. Maybe leap for the melee because uh, they're melee for a reason. Bring the elf over here next to the chest. Oh. <coughs> oh, oh. Maybe I'm going to pull that lever actually to stop them from coming. 
I only just noticed that lever in the corner there. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Just uh, dying slowly. I don't like feeling ill. 96 damage. <coughs> yes, I think I need to pull that lever. <laughs> Well, it's good if I noticed it as uh, they all came in. At least I get more XP this way, I reckon. So it all works out for the best. Um, yeah, I might as well smack that. Another crit, 78. Not very good, but not that bad either. Moving to about here. Ogre's got this. <clears throat> Priestess's turn. No one's really low to heal from here. She could run to the switch, I guess. Maybe I should make the barbarian do that though, so I can actually close it in time. What's the range on this? Five. Oh, that's not gonna reach. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, completely out range. Uh, yeah, I'll just slap that. Saves the ogre doing it. He can run far further then. Put it behind here, so it's behind cover. Don't stand so close to me. Hmm. Ogre's turn. Hmm, he can run pretty far. Is it worth him going after that? Probably is. It's because I don't think anyone else is going to kill it if the barbarians are running over here to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to run him over. Doof, 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 doof. Something like Jurassic Park, this guy. Right. Uh, it's a waste, but I'll do it. I've still got gas. Another crit. Another beautiful crit. Okay, barbarian's turn. I'm going to run him over to do the switch. Water boy. Even though he's probably one of the best characters. Oh, right. Oh. That's... Is there anything else here? No, it's... Okay, so I can't do the switch. It wasn't part of the uh, fight, I guess. I guess it would have came up actually saying I had to do it. It was part of the fight. Um, yeah, okay. Not really a waste of turn because uh, he wouldn't have done much anyway while he's waiting for them to come. So, I'm actually okay with um, that. Uh, doo -doo -doo, move him here. So, he can tank and he can knock them over when they come as well. Oh, I haven't done Overwatch in ages. Watch it get completely knocked off. Oh, no. Yay, I did it. I Overwatched something. We're playing other games like XCOM and stuff. I used to just like, you literally walk Overwatch, walk Overwatch. Overwatch is the game, almost, in XCOM. But in this, uh, yeah, it's like Overwatch is really good at the beginning. Like, uh, levels 1 to 5, and then it kind of drops off because everyone just starts AoEing you and hitting you. Um, out of nowhere. I wonder if I can reach that without reaching it. I'll move that just in case. I don't want to take a risk of not being able to attack with the um, Wizardess. Yeah, that's good. What's up? No stuns? Nope. Okay. Okay, Thief's turn. Slowly dying to the poison. Um. I can't get behind them for some reason. Maybe if I move there. Oh. What? Maybe I don't even want to go behind them, actually, because these guys are going to come up and reinforce in a sec. Well, I'm going to move like that. Oh. Is that right? Oh, wait. Am I doing this wrong? Euclid, I've been poisoned. There we go. I, I don't barely use that waypoint system that much. <laughs> But when I do, I muff it up completely. Oh, here we go. It doesn't make me want to upgrade that ability so much. It just hit with all the attacks, and I think it did... 
25, 25, 25. What was that like? Did about 75 damage? Hmm. Not so sure if it's that strong. I probably will upgrade it anyway because I don't really have any other choices. But I feel like the one I took, I'm just justifying what I took. I feel like the one I took was probably better because it just um, poisons everything so I can start doing 60% more damage straight away with the thief. The uh, gas one. Right, so her turn. I'll save the thief for the uh, priestess to heal. I'll go for a ricochet here. It's quite a nice ricochet as well. I feel like the late game just turns into an AoE battle. It's just... Um, who can do the most uh, area effect uh, damage? In the shortest space of time. If only the ranger has some AoE as well. Join in. I feel like he's a bit left out. Right, so I'm going to uh, destabilizing shot this one. Because it's fresh. Uh, I wonder if that was low enough actually to be able to uh, execute with the ranger. Probably was. I think yellow is 25, isn't it? Percent? Or is red 25%? Percent? Ooh, I don't know. Well, I'll put the ranger here anyway. I need to remember I got that passive and make use of it, otherwise, I just need to switch it out. <clears throat> right, so. Yeah, I might as well go for a normal. Might as well just go for a normal heal on the thief. But he's got more HP than the ranger does. Or close to more HP anyway. Okay. August turn. Can I move? Oh yeah, I can't move. I wonder if I can delay my turn a bit. And just kind of wait until they come to me. Barbarian's turn. <laughs> I think I can get a nice jump here. It does 150% of my weapon damage now. Can you even jump on those and kill them? Or I can try... Nah, that pillar's in the way. Yeah, I'll jump on those and kill them and face him that way. Once again, it's all about the AoE. Just AoE stuff down now. No, there's single target stuff. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> They're resisting so much, it's crazy. What's going on? And again? Ah, Third time lucky, I guess. Third time lucky. Okay, Dwarf Mark move. Can't move. So I guess I'll just fire some uh, pot shots. Oh, I can't even do that. Come on, Dwarf. He's barely far away. Um, uh, I'll just taunt. <laughs> Love the Dwarf. And it's turn. Okay, we've just got a bit of astro energy there. Nice tick. Um, I haven't really got much to do actually. I could heal. I can do some killer bunny damage. How about I could flavor six of your legs? Hmm. Isn't many options. I'll, I'll place her over here so she's close enough to do stuff anyway. This is up in two turns. This is up in one turn. That'd be good to have now. Um. I'll just do some killer bunny. Half HP someone. Or crit and insta give the spider. Even one. She's so overpowered. It's crazy. Really overpowered now. I don't even think the thief can do anything now because of that. <laughs> um, I can't really delay my turn because, yeah, they're not coming. So I'll go and overwatch. Elf's turn. Uh, I think I can hit that, yeah. Move there. Probably should have angled her slightly, but she's going to change angles in a sec anyway. 58%. I'll take it. Nice. 
Get 50 damage. Ogre's oh. turn. Yeah, he still can't move. Poison. A weapon for cowards. That's irony for you. Right. Ranger's turn. Music's back. Hmm. Hmm. I did get a chance to get this off, this whole fight, this first blood. Unfortunately. What if I can just buff everyone up? So I'm going to move there. See what his chances are. No, he's got no chances. Okay, I'll just buff everyone up with the uh, speed buff again. Even though everyone's webbed anyway. And then, Priestess's turn. Everyone's getting low enough for heal, I guess. I think they're out range of each other, though. So if I move her... To here. Should be able to just AoE heal that. Yep. Uh, big heal, 125. I think I said it was going to be that, actually, with uh, Chrisma. Um... Yeah, I can't even get close again. I'm actually going to run him over, though. Um, just because if I don't do it now, I'm probably going to get webbed again and not be able to move. <laughs> I don't want that happening again. <laughs> okay, Barbarian's turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might as well go in and yag. Oh, wait. I need to kill that so it doesn't get a turn. She better just kill it with a normal attack. Ooh. Nice. Dwarf's turn. Even with the movement buff, he still just cannot like cover distances very well at all. It's quite sad. Forty damage, it's respectable. Probably does more damage than the ranger. <laughs> the range is melee attack. Oh, I just healed him. Damn it. Okay, unfortunately everything's dead, but I think I can still firebird this. Not even sure if I need this fireball at this moment. Just because uh, it only hits for 55% chance. Um, so I might even take that out and put it into the ex oh, another crit. And that thing's dead. Yeah, cool. So I'll just move the thief here. Oh, I could probably just melee there, actually. And hit it. Yeah, so I might move that to the heal. I'll see if I actually need the extra spells at some point. <laughs> but it's something to consider. Victory! Oh, I'm covered in More blood. XP. Oh, no loot. Oh. That's sad. Can I move? I can move. This place is so dark. Someone needs to put some candles on or something. Oh, that fight was for the loot. Ooh, legendaries. Legendary for the ogre. Fluff. Legendary for the priestess. Nice. So I will equip that. And with that, that is the end of part 54. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in part 55. Take care.